to convert a diesel to run on vegetable oil is quite easy. If you have someone who knows how to do it, all you need to do is reconnect a few hoses. Right now we're underneath a big diesel Ford van. We got hoses everywhere. We got all sorts of gears and nuts and bolts. I've extended the, the fuel flows and the, and the heat flows and just heated everything up so that vegetable oil will match the viscosity of diesel fuel. So this is the main feed right here. This is the main return. Experience a new sense of freedom with transportation and the fuel that we fuel ourselves by. We've used this, this oil energy for 100 years. Now it's time for us to take up the responsibility side of that and go, yes, we have a right to energy, but that right comes with the responsibility to do it ethically, to do it cleanly, to do it so that we ensure that the next generation can do it as well. People know the truth. They know that oil is going to run out. They know that it's polluting the earth. They want to know some other answers too. I just think that it's something that is very special because it, it connects with a lot of different people. Um, at different levels. I looked at this picture on the internet and there was this guy in a van and he had been converting cars to run on, on vegetable oil. Transform this gas guzzling vehicle. About two hours later I was at the health food store that same guy from the internet page just drove right up to me and that was Jason Goodman. Transport us safely. We went cruising across the Mojave Desert on vegetable oil in the middle of the night, which was really cool. When we got to Prescott, Arizona, everyone thought it was really great there. It's kind of a small alternative town. Because I'm disengaging, I'm separating from the oil company. can do this. We're not rocket scientists. How come, you know, those multi-billion dollar corporations can't do the very simple things that we're doing on a grassroots level? And the answer is, they can. They just have to make the mental leap. And it starts here. Y'all need to pick up somebody really strong. And I got a diesel, biodiesel. I got a biodiesel van. Diesel, diesel, biodiesel. I got a biodiesel van. Diesel, diesel, biodiesel. I got a biodiesel van. Monday, February 10th, 2002, Tucson, Arizona. Thank you, ma'am, tour. We didn't start looking for oil till we got to Tucson, and that's where people, most of the people couldn't even believe it, and the reaction was, they looked at me like I was some kind of crazy lady, and, um, and then when they found out, they thought it was really cool, too. Take a right, and we'll talk, we can talk to the folks over at the farmer's market, the bread place, and tell them what we're looking for. Oh, look at these guys. Four aircraft carriers, eight million tanks, 400 planes, 3,000 bombs, and send, you know, 80,000 troops to go over and sit and just make sure that nothing happens to our oil. Well, right here over there in the front, they, they were 
Be a great thrift store, wonder bread. Well, dolly snacks, not cakes. Hola, ¿cómo estás? I'm looking for vegetable oil that's already been used, like the deep fat fire. Do you guys have some of that kind of stuff? No, but they don't even cook. They don't fry the Wonder Bread. They don't make it here. Yum. Mm -hmm. Yum. 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 Oh, I think You don't know. You don't have any friends that go to restaurant or anything like that. Okay, what did he call it? Rosita's or something? Yeah, something like that. I wish my Spanish was better because I wouldn't remember. Sabrosa. Sabrosa. Pacific fire safety. get to the point where we allowed what is good for us to become the alternative instead of the accepted norm. Every moment there is choice, and every choice has impact. Hold my boat on the shore up alone at night. I see the mountain. I am mystified. Pulsating through my body comes a beating light. Okay, we're at Congress and Scott in Tucson. This is the grill. We might be able to find some veggie oil here. Okay, we've got the bat here for the grill. Hopefully, it's not gross. It's not gross. It's not that bad. Okay, time to pull up the van with the hose. Let's get the van and, and fucking do it. The timing always seemed to happen that we'd find our best oil at like 3 in the morning and we'd have to go and, and deal with it after a gig and get all messy at to, to like 4 in the morning and then get up at 7 in the morning to get to our next gig. I heard myth a long time ago about some women that had driven across the country and converted their van or, or were running across the country on biodiesel, stopping at McDonald's and that just kind of lingered in my mind as possibility. Justin and I, he, he scribbled out a wild schematic for me and since then we've, we've been installing systems for people and exploring the technology and um, really just smelling a lot better than all them other people out there. It is not can we make a difference, it is that we do make a difference. The kind of difference we make is up to us. That's a renewable resource. I need vegetable oil. Now what's the difference? What is petroleum gasoline made from? We did have a lot of breakdowns too. Uh, a lot of that um, being that we didn't have a huge budget to start with, so we just picked up this old van, you know, it had its own problems that sometimes were related and sometimes were not related to the whole vegetable oil thing. Over in the Hamez Mountain. We got to Louisiana and that's where things started to get really fun and exciting. Lou was pretty much the neighborhood mechanic. Basically, when he found out our van ran on vegetable oil, he was blown away and I, he, he was just shouting out of joys of excitement about how much he could really get into converting vans and, and getting his whole neighborhood on a vegetable oil. Here's the most Grand Prix with biodiesel van. This is 100% canola oil, and, and it says do not reuse. You now that's crazy. You 
don't have to go drill that tundra for me. Cause I'm dis How many gas tanks do you see in this car? Two. How many do cars usually oh, have? One. This one is for biodiesel. There's billions of gallons of vegetable oil wasted every year that could be used to burn clean in so many diesel engines. I think it's a, it's a bit about the demystification of something that seems so absurd and outrageous and otherworldly. The biggest hypocrisy that we have as musicians is that we, um, we drive around a lot and so why not drive on something that burns clean? I remember the first time I did it, it really blew my mind. I'd taken something, you know, like the car, which in my mind seems so polluting and so ingenious at the same time. And I just kind of taken it by the horns and done something to it, tweaked it, and it kept going. And I was working, working it. Fuck it. Tucson Tello. Oh no, it's empty! Biodiesel is widespread now in the United States. In Germany, you can drive up to an Esso station and pump biodiesel into your car. And they've got ads for it, you know, on the internet and on TV. 100% American grown soybeans. A lot of people don't realize that you can actually drive from San Francisco all the way to Seattle on biodiesel. I've driven 25,000 miles right now. Things are going great. My engine's doing great. Driving down the road and smelling the, the oil coming out of the tailpipe and coming to the realization that, wow, we could all be doing this right now. We're talking about a leap in mentality. All of the technical know-how that we need to have is here right now. It smells like butter. It smells like good sesame oil. It smells like revolution. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs>